Well, here's something you don't see every day on the 700 Club. Father and son together being interviewed by yours truly. Hey, so man. let me welcome my guest to oh, the 700 Club. Oh, nice, Terry. Today. Today. Well, thank you, Terry. It's an honor to be with you. Such an honor to be here. Goodness gracious. Well, we are here today because we want to talk about an enormously evangelistic project that CBN and its partners are undertaking. It's the creation of the new reimagined Superbook, which is going to bring the truth of the Bible to the next generation. And this is this is a novel yeah. in the sense that really we're saying the new because this came to be right. many years ago. Pat, tell me a little bit about how it started, what generated uh, that. We sent over a uh, writer from America and producer and so forth and joined in with some Japanese animators and put together a series called Superbook and Flying House. And it dealt about this magic book that these kids found up in the attic, and they opened it up, and suddenly they entered in to, um, <laughs> you know, the stories. The stories. The it frame. was amazing. It was enormously popular in Japan. It became one of the best-watched programs over there. We had an audience of about 8 million in Japan. And then it went to Hong Kong. It was tied, I think, at the time period for number one in, in, in Hong Kong. Did you see changes in cultures and countries as a result of that? I think without question, uh, we introduced the Japanese to something. They didn't know anything about sin, about redemption, about God, about the fall of man, about the devil. All these things were new concepts. So we had to introduce them to all these before you could begin so-called evangelism. One of the things that's changed over the years is technology. Mm. I mean, everything is different now, and you're going to be utilizing that in what you're doing in this new version. Well, the, this whole new version started about five years ago. We had uh, seen the original Superbook broadcast without our knowledge in uh, a city in China called Xiamen. God works in God amazing works ways. God works in amazing <laughs> ways. And uh, we, we said, well, if, if Xiamen will broadcast it, maybe other stations would. So we took it around and, and showed it to them. And their response was, we like it, but could you update it? It, it looks a little dated. It looks old. Uh, and can you make it look new and fresh? And that started us looking at animation in China, clearing censorship. How, how do we get it on the air? Uh, and then once we began, we realized, well, we really need to do this for the world. I mean, you're not rounding it out in any Hollywood fashion. I mean, no, you are no. giving us the word as the word. As, as much as possible, we want to mm. have the what the characters in the Bible say be exactly mm. what is in. Uh, we've selected the New King James Version, the New Living Version, and something called the CEV, the Contemporary English Version. And we're using those as our basic text. And what the Bible characters say what is, is what's serpent? found in the Bible. The serpent deceived me, and I ate. Because you have done this, you are cursed more than all cattle and more than every beast of the field. On your belly you shall go, and you shall eat dust all the days of your life. Now we have added a robot and two kids to the story, so you've got to interweave that and have some modern parallels. But when the biblical characters are talking, they're talking Bible. Why is it important? in today's world for young people to know, for children to know what Gordon was talking about, going back well, to what happened in heaven in the beginning, well, Where, who's, the, the, who's the, the devil? Whole, What's lifestyle, the lifestyle, you know, we don't understand that there was a struggle in heaven that God created uh, a race of beings called angels, and the angels fell and revolted against God, and that human beings are in this uh, earth we are uh, on, and that there's a struggle between uh, the forces of evil and the angel and God's forces. You know, lots of times we grow up in the church and we make assumptions that our mm. children mm. understand, but it's not true today. This is a marvelous tool, really, for parents to be sure that their kids sure. understand and a point of discussion for them. We used to have in uh, America a biblical context about sin, redemption. People knew they were doing wrong when they were doing wrong. We don't have that any longer. Yeah. We, it just isn't being taught. And children are growing up, and where do they get their information? Well, from their bodies. Mm -hmm. and from television. But you're talking about interacting. And yes. I think one of the things we need to mention, because I hear that this is top notch, is that there is a site that kids are going to be able to go to where they can interact with all of this information and that it's going to be the best. 
We did a soft launch of it about a year ago, uh, superbook.tv. And on there is a complete gospel presentation. There are uh, games, things for the children to interact with. You get to role play. You get to be Chris or Joy or Gizmo. We want to add even more. We want to add a whole discipleship component. So each episode will then have in-depth lessons. Mm -hmm. You know, what did it mean? Uh, and, and why was that yeah, so important no. for David's life? Oh, um, and then, you know, what about the struggle with, with Goliath and why it wasn't really a physical battle, but it was a spiritual battle? Well, the potential of this is amazing. Mm. It's still being finished. There are still extended uh, elements around the sides of it that are being accomplished. And I know people want to help get this out there for their yeah. own children and for other people as well. well uh, if they can call in or, or log on and, and get a copy for $25. Beyond that, though, there are people who could realize the potential of this magnificent effort and would want to uh, get involved with more substantial contributions. Those of you who are listening to what we're talking about want to be a part of this. So give your best gift and just memo in there that I want this to go to Superbook. I want to see this come to pass. It's going to impact the world. And so call now, 1-800-759-0700. You can also log on to CBN.com. It's an exciting project, and you don't want to miss being a part of it.